it's honestly a good thing that I got myself a bunk bed because um, we've been sat here for the past hour. In the last video, I left Malapascal Island to visit another nearby island in Cebu called Bantayan. As there is no direct route between the two islands that is affordable, I had to ride a boat back to the mainland of Cebu for an hour and then ride a motorbike taxi 40 kilometers across Cebu to get to Hagnaya port where I could board the last ferry going to Batayan Island. But the moment I arrived, I quickly learned that the final ferry had been fully booked. And because the next ferry wasn't scheduled to depart until 1am, I was stuck hanging around in the passenger terminal for the next 7 hours. Okay, so there's literally no way around it. I'm gonna have to wait here until 1am to get the next ferry to Bataya. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get myself a coffee and uh, do some work on my laptop. Okay, so Two months. Yeah, all right, this is gonna do me well to edit my next video. It's gonna keep me up until 1am. Anyway, I've just stepped out of the terminal and if you walk all the way down to the end, it looks like there's a food market. How convenient is that? There's a few seats out here if you ever wanted to you know, taking the ocean breeze. Although I've missed the 6 p.m. ferry to Bataillon, I'm actually looking forward to catching it at 1 a.m. It's actually gonna be cool. I think I'm gonna edit here because the aircon's there, there's a plug there. I was previously gonna edit here, but the, it's quite stuffy and warm in the corner. Wow, we've got some fireworks in the distance. I don't know what the occasion is, but it's pretty cool. Wait, 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 what the hell is happening? So these are all the people that are waiting for the 1 a.m. ferry. There's quite a lot. See, the thing is, they all wanted to get the 5.30 one, but it was all full, fully booked. Okay folks, while I've been editing today's video, I've actually come to learn that there's a typhoon hit in the north portion of the Philippines. But I do worry because there is also a warning for a low pressure area in the Visaya area. And I fear that the typhoon may head south and possibly hit this area. And in a couple hours time, I'm gonna be on the water at 1 a.m. going to Batayan Island. So the thing is, I've booked my accommodation in Batayan, but I don't think it's safe to take the ferry. Um, I'm really in a dilemma. I could chance it, but I don't want to. I just, I think it's too dangerous to travel today. And so I think I'm gonna probably stay here, maybe find a place in Bogo City for the night or possibly sleep in the terminal as a lot of people are doing just that. I've just done a search on booking.com and it says there's literally no accommodation in Bogo City left for tonight. Well, uh, it looks like I'm either gonna be sleeping at the terminal or on Batayan Island or maybe at the bottom of a sea. Okay, I've packed up all my things. Um, I now need to decide what I'm gonna do because it is now 11.30 and I really need to come up with some sort of plan. Do I go to Batayan or do I stay here? This is a ticket queue for Batayan Island. It hasn't moved since I last came here, which was maybe 10 minutes ago. Don't know why. Well, folks, I'm not gonna sit there like a sitting duck. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven and uh, grab myself something to eat. Yes, because I've not had dinner, which is just across the road from the terminal. Oh, we've got Burger Junction here. Yeah, buddy. Didn't realize this was a franchise. Hello. 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 Ho ho. Good evening. Good evening. You don't know how happy I am. Okay, ma'am, can I get one foot long hot dog? Foot long? Yes, please. I left my things with uh, the security guard at the terminal. I left it behind where he's sitting. Hopefully he keeps an eye on it. Can I pay for Yeah, once I'm done eating, I'll bring this back. But I've got to go back to the port just to wash over my things. Thank you. Sorry about. I'll be back. You're not scared about the But it's like, it's south of Manila. Here you go, madam. Thank you. Can you put this in the bin for me? Thank you. Salamat. Holy crap, everybody's running. 
to the entrance. This is it. We're finally going to Batayan Island. After waiting here for six hours, we're finally boarding. Oh, it's a big ship. Okay, got to be careful here now. Hello again. Okay, so just to inform you what is exactly going on. It seems as though on the top floor they've got bunk beds. So with your regular ticket, you do have the option to pick any bunk bed you want here and sleep on it for your journey. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of people lying down. I've never been on a ship where they feature this sort of um, double bunk bed implementation. But it's quite peculiar, it's quite interesting. But anyway, I've followed what other people have done, uh, which is they put their luggage on the bed as well. And these seats don't actually fit my luggage, so I popped it up here. So I guess I'm claiming that bunk, but there's plenty of bunk beds here. If you ever find yourself taking one of these cargo ships, it is a lot cooler on the second floor than it is on the first floor. It's more well ventilated. And that's predominantly because of these openings here. 1 a.m. at night, folks, 1 a.m. I know there are bunk beds and they're used for sleeping, but uh, I wasn't expecting to hear a snoring sound emanating from the benches just behind the door. Dude's fast asleep. Uh, the boat hasn't even set off. Must have been a long day. So a lot of these people actually are actually going to Batayan Island because they've finished up work. And they're going back to their hometown to basically have a weekend. I think I might do the same, but I don't have any. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've got a spider above my head. Yeah, maybe. Oh, let's see how much gunk is gonna come off this. Oh! Can I borrow some more, yeah? Thank you. The next problem is how do I get on the bed? There's no ladders. You have to jump on it without like stamping on the person beneath you. Okay, so there's a step here. It's like a little triangle here that you can step up to get up here. So I moved the deck here a little bit upwards based on what I've seen them do. I just want to give this area here where my head is going to be a little bit more of a clean. It's honestly a good thing that I got myself a bunk bed because um, we've been sat here for the past hour. It's already gone past 1 p.m. I don't think this ferry is actually going to depart until 2 p.m. So just sitting down there for an hour waiting must be very difficult. This girl just said is this your YouTube channel? <laughs> I don't know how you... What did you type in? Cebu? Cebu Vlogs 2022 and she found my vlog.
up, folks. We've made it to Batayan Island, even though there was a scheduled typhoon to come ahead. It feels good to be on land again.